and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a slightly drizzly Dundrod here uh, which is the home of the Ulster Grand Prix and it's a very fitting uh, location for today's feature of uh, this lovely little mini here behind me so let's run the graphics and we'll get into it So the Mini that we're going to be featuring on today's episode of Viewers Rides belongs to Jimmy Dodds and there's this lovely little 2000 John Cooper LE here behind me. So we'll spin the camera around and we'll do a quick walk around. So the John Cooper LE was launched in 1999, although this is a 2000 model. It was launched in 1999 as I said, uh, which happened to be the 40th anniversary of the launch of the Mini. But this particular model was launched to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Cooper Car Company Grand Prix Championship win in 1959. So Jimmy's car is number 224 of 300 official John Cooper Ellie's which left the factory. Although it has been said that John Cooper's wife loved this model so much that he actually had another one specially commissioned from Rover for her as well. So that would have been 301 unofficial cars uh, which were produced. Okay, so let's look at the externals of the car then. So finished in Brooklyn's green with an old English white roof. And this was the colour scheme which was used on the championship winning Coopers of 1959 and 1960, uh, both driven to victory by Jack Brabham. Now, originally there would have been two uh, Old English white stripes on the bonnet, um, as well as two spotlights on the grille, um, which would have been the original fitment. However, just for a, a little bit of individuality, Jimmy has omitted these from his own car. As with all 13-inch wheel minis of this era, uh, they're fitted with sports pack arches, um, which are the wide, widest arches which were available from factory for the mini. I think we were introduced in 1996, right through to end of production. And uh, these are covering 6x13 Rover sports pack alloys. Okay, to the rear, we just have the standard uh, mini fitment tail lights with color-coded number plate light. And on this model, Jimmy has added the overriders, both front and rear, and central fog light as well, just which replaces the offset one from the factory. Then the John Cooper signature badging on the front flanks of the doors is the uh, underlying feature of the John Cooper LE and identifies it as such. Another individual item fitted by Jimmy here is the wavy grille. And so this is a Rover's homage to the original Austin 7 Minis of uh, the Mark 1s in 1959 to 1967. And this grille also would have been available as a dealer fit option. Okay, so let's hop inside the Mini and we'll see what the features are there. So the first thing that you are greeted with as soon as you open the door is this fantastic grenadine red leather interior, which is unique to this model. So there's vast areas of red leather throughout the car so it's uh, front and rear seats door cards and the top dash rail all in a lovely uh, red stitching and with the black piping as well really sets off uh, this mini we also have this fantastic alloy dash as standard fitment complete with the magnolia gauges and as you can see there also in the uh, central gauge mini 40 just come uh, just complementing the 40 years of Mini as well. As with all Minis of this era, we have no choke as we are fuel injected. We have the two-speed fan, standard four-speed gearbox, this lovely uh, leather gear knob and the grenadine red gator there as well. And door carriage all complemented with the alloy uh, door furniture. In the rear of the Mini then we have uh, seat belts for the rear passengers as uh, these lovely little uh, uh, plastic uh, infill liners for the rear pockets for your bits and pieces as well. So just as we come to the last item of the car we come down to this lovely little plaque here which reading John Cooper and uh, genuine Cooper conversion so this Mini has had a John Cooper works conversion carried out. Lifting the bonnet we are greeted with the 1275 multipoint injection engine um, which would have been standard fitment to this car in standard form at least so as i've said earlier this car does have a john cripper works conversion carried out so that conversion included 
a polished and ported cylinder head which is stage two i believe with rotor rockers uh, and under the rocker cover the polished rocker cover itself with the little plaque as you can see here as well speaking of john cooper engineering in addition to that all converted cars were replaced had the badges replaced with the red badges as opposed to green as well so that's both front and rear so then to exhaust all that extra performance the uh, john cooper works conversion included this twin pipe Manaflow exhaust system as well. So up in the power altogether of this car to approximately 90 brake horsepower. So in addition to the John Cooper Works conversion which uh, Jimmy had carried out, he also has fitted this special components fuel injection system. So it replaces the original multi-point injection, uh, also comes uh, with its own ECU, so this replaces the original ECU on the car. Um, which is all fully wiring loomed, it even comes with a little port so you can plug into your laptop for some additional tuning. And this comes with a full wiring loom, as I said, with its own harness uh, to a, pre a fuel pressure regulator and a gauge there as well. But other than that, under the bonnet, all fairly standard multi point injection fitment with a front mounted radiator as opposed to side mounted here. Um, also comes with a relocated um, alternator and uh, distribution system as well so uh, quite heavily modified under the bonnet there as well okay so there you have the walk around of the 1999 or in 2000 in this case John Cooper LE so um, for 10995 you got quite a lot uh, in the package for this Mini um, Jimmy told me as well he changed his Mini Flame LE as 1990 Mini Flame uh, for this Mini as well so went from one LE to another as well so with this um, and a six month wait list as well to get it so well worth the wait so a lovely lovely car so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you remember to like and subscribe and all the usual good things and follow us on socials so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the very next one